Ethereum on the hourly chart, we had a very nice run to the upside. Taking a quick look on my Twitter feed on the 21st, I made a recommendation or just a trade suggestion looking at this pivot low, run around 28.80 and some change. Jumping over here, we were here at that juncture. From here, Ethereum starting to take to the upside. Now, a lot of people, they want to be jumping on this northbound train. What you want to do, you want to set up the next pullback. What you can do, you can start to duplicate some of these potential pullbacks. And from here, you want to just reproject it to this new recent high, just like that. That'll be your first price relationship. Next, I can use another pullback, such as one over here. Click it from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. That'd be my second price relationship. We are looking for patterns that could repeat themselves over and over on a chart. In addition, doing a fit pull right here. This one provides a 618 retracement. So over here, there's nothing to do. If you're not in Ethereum, you're waiting for the next pullback. Pull back into this potential pocket of support. From here, taking a bounce out of here on a 15 minute time frame. If you are in this trade, if you've been position sizing in over here, you can start to use that 200 moving average as your stop loss. This is how you manage the trade. So just in case that Ethereum starts to break below this area, you take your small profit, move on to a next trade. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.